Alessandra Mariskin. I'm Jonas Wafferkrug. And today, we will be showing you the development of an elementless point-of-use water heater. So, you're probably wondering, what is an elementless point-of-use water heater? It refers to a water heater that is placed at the point of use and uses intrusionless and non-contact heating methods, such as heating water by induction. Point-of-use water heaters combat the electricity and water wastage of geysers and are thus electricity and water saving. Our aim for the project was to investigate and design an elementless point-of-use water heater capable of heating water by approximately 20 degrees Celsius or a shower flow rate of 1.4 litres per minute for 5 minutes. So, our system. Water enters the system here. This ball valve controls the flow rate. Water flows through this element here, up that way, through this element here, up that way, and through this element here. These are three induction heating points. Water, hot water, then finally exits the system here and out through the shower. What we found through experimentation of our device was that the pipes didn't heat instantaneously. So, we decided to preheat the pipes before flowing water through them in order to waste less water and achieve an adequate showering temperature within seconds of switching the water on. So, before we carry on with the further explanation of our system, earlier on in the video, we began preheating the pipes. And in the bottom right hand corner, you can see a graph of the temperature of the pipes as they are heating up. Preheating makes use of switching on the electricity without flowing the water. So, back to the theory now. Our chosen elementless method of heating was induction water heating, which uses hysteresis and eddy current losses to generate heat. The governing equations are being shown on screen now. Okay. So it looks like the pipe temperature has tapered off, as you can see at the bottom right hand corner. So, let's put our thermometer in. And let's switch on the water at a flow rate of 1.4 litres per minute. To see if the temperature is hot enough for a shower. As you can see by the thermometer in the bottom right hand corner, the temperature is dropping from its original preheated value due to flowing water now transferring heat through the system. Well, we have to wait for the shower water to reach equilibrium, so I'll tell you a bit more about the technical specifications of our system. The specifications are shown on screen now to the right of the water heater. So, looking at the system here, we have a three coil setup wound with 1.8 millimeter diameter copper wire with a total inductance of 10.76 millihenries. We're running at about 118 volts, 50 hertz, and 19 amps. The heat losses produced by the wire is about 219 watts, which suggests that the majority of the heating process is actually done by hysteresis losses and eddy currents. So, as you can see, the temperature has reached an equilibrium of about 41 degrees Celsius. The temperature will now stay constant, and I think this is about an adequate temperature and an adequate flow rate to shower in. Thank you for listening to an overview of our project. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email us on this email right here. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.